Hi, my name is Glenn McElhoe. I'm a staff engineer at VMware. I've been working on SRM since just about the beginning of the, of the project. So Site Recovery Manager is VMware's offering in the disaster recovery market. Um, it's uh, designed around having two uh, virtual center sites that can protect each other. So you can have active workflows on both sides. Before virtualization in Site Recovery Manager, uh, the way that people would do disaster recovery, would they would tend to have giant run books. Clearly with virtualization, you can do a lot better. Uh, virtualization makes each of the machines into a file. Uh, therefore, disaster recovery um, is all made a lot simpler by just moving the files from one side to the other. But that's not quite the whole story. Uh, what Site Recovery Manager does is automates the whole process of then turning those files back into the virtual machines. And there's a lot of steps involved, so uh, the fact that uh, our product is able to do all that very easily and quickly um, and repeatably uh, is really the key reason for Site Recovery Manager. One of its key features is that you can set up tests uh, so that you can test your disaster recovery and have confidence that in the event of a real disaster, uh, everything's going to work exactly as you've been training and planning for all these uh, months and weeks and years that you've been using it. There's as many different ways to replicate storage as there are storage providers. What we've designed is an adapter that will talk to that storage vendors can implement uh, with just the routines that we need in order to do a disaster recovery. Site Recovery Manager uh, has three parts. There's the storage part, a protection part, and then a recovery part. So the storage part is talking with the SRAs um, and managing all the arrays that you might have in your data center. The next level is the protection, and what we what Site Recovery Manager does is it looks through the VC inventory and looks through the storage inventory and correlates them into uh, units of, of protection. And it goes and finds the smallest units of protection uh, that are possible between the two sites. The third part is recovery plans, and recovery plans let you specify which of the protection groups that you've created uh, you want to group together to make into recovery. You may want to have the entire inventory come over as one giant recovery plan, or if uh, you might want to break it down other ways. We, we're trying to make it as flexible as possible. So you can put your own scripts and callout commands inside that, uh, that recovery plan. But SRM also has external APIs so that if you want to uh, control SRM from some other business continuity workflow. The other thing we do is during is we can configure the networks, uh, especially during tests. One kind of the default way is we just put all the virtual machines into little test bubbles so they can't go and talk to the uh, rest of the environment. Um, but sometimes that's not enough, and it, we also have capabilities in SRM to connect it up to pre-existing testing networks that you can connect between the data center but not allow to have external access. After the recoveries run, uh, we keep track of every operation you've ever done on the recovery plan and through a recovery plan history.